Hi guys, it's me Yobi Programmer and this is day 3 of 100 days of Kaggle and you can see I have entered into a competition. I have joined it house prices advanced uh, regression techniques. So basically uh, they are saying like uh, they are providing a large data set. It is relatively large than the previous two competitions I have joined. Uh, it was like uh, the Titanic and Spaceship Titanic competitions. You can just watch my previous two days videos and there the data set was relatively small but now the data set has let me just show you 81 columns in total right so if we predict the sales price then we have 80 features uh, so basically it's uh, uh, you can say uh, particularly for feature engineering so this is quite a like uh, important topic in the machine learning pipeline and just to try out different uh, algorithms uh, like uh, random forest and uh, gradient boost uh, i haven't tried uh, this one yet but uh, random forest is giving me uh, like acceptable results so i'm going with that but uh, this thing like 80 features uh, this is uh, like i would say uh, new to me uh, as a beginner uh, kegel uh, practitioner right okay so let me just show you how did i deal with that so i'm loading the uh, training data then eda of course uh, shape of it then uh, columns so you can see all of these columns are present in our data set then description of the uh, columns what are the data types and all right so there are some integers uh, then some uh, object which means like uh, string or categorical variable whatever you're gonna call it then we have some floats and it's like we have variety of uh, different categories of features right and then missing values first of all we have to deal with the missing values so this is like uh, the thing which i just wrote today for this particular thing because i have many features so uh, there has to be a way of uh like uh, automatically fill out all the values so what i am trying here is if the data type is int 64 or uh, i can't see the like or the float 64 yeah uh, it, if the data type is integer or float then it will uh, uh, like fill out the nan values with the mean uh, of the column or the median whatever you uh, like uh, want to input and then uh, if it's an object uh, I'm assuming it's a categorical variable then I am uh, imputing or filling out the NAND value with the mode of it right so that's my strategy here for the missing values and then you can see I got no missing value right uh, then uh, I am just choosing some correlated uh, features from the numerical data. So for now I have just uh, did the feature engineering for uh, numerical data. Doesn't uh, did uh, anything for uh, didn't did anything for the uh, categorical uh, features. Uh, I will just search it out for other techniques when I will be improving my score in the leaderboard, right? So I just drop out some columns uh, based on these correlation numbers. Uh, I guess this is Pearson correlation, but yeah. Then uh, for the categorical variables, I am just uh, using the label encoding. So these are the unique values in every uh, categorical variables. And then I am just converting them into numbers like that with the help of sklearn uh pre-processing label encoder and then uh, making x and y and so i'm predicting the sale price so that's why it's the y of my uh, problem statement 
then uh, training and testing then using my uh, library to automatically apply all the uh, major regression uh, algorithms and uh, report the accuracies or metrics of these uh, predictions so uh, best model is random forest for now which is giving 89 almost 90 r2 score uh, which is quite good 90 percent it is covering the error uh, and then i just created that instance of the model and then uh, did the prediction on the uh, testing data so you can see on the testing data i did the prediction and export the submission file as the id it was required in the specific format that first column has to be id and the second column has to be sale price and then i submit it with just uploading it so if you uh, i can show you uh, in the where it will be let me just show you. yeah in the submissions you can see four hours ago i submitted this one right and this was it for the third day of kegel and i'm planning to enter or join some more competitions uh, in the next days and i'm hoping to at least uh, promote it to expert level you can just uh, help me out with that if you just go to this notebook this will be in the description and give me upward if you find this useful uh, in your pipelines uh, and feel free to text me out or reach uh, out to me on the whatsapp or mail if you have any queries or any interesting projects you can watch out some of these projects from the channel thanks for watching i'll meet you in the next day